Hello world. My name's Rob and I've always been a little bit embarrassed to do explainer videos because I think nobody cares, but when I post them, people seem to care. So I'm going to do a little bit of an explainer video on a project that I'm done with, um, which the concept is sports booth over Dante. So uh, sports booth would be um, some announcers in a, uh, in a, overlooking a sports arena somewhere they'd be wearing headset mics and uh, have communications with the truck somewhere that's represented by our uh, kp panel here this would be in front of the producer um, hey guys we need to go to break wrap it up in five four three two one or you know hey can we get a explanation on what happened on that play so the concept of, of ifb first is important the uh the talent should hear themselves and maybe the other talent as they are speaking to each other, having a conversation about the sport. But at times, the producer's input will be more important than hearing uh, the show and the producer would talk back to the talent. So we need a path from the microphones and we need a path back from the producer. So uh, I have uh, put pretty much everything that would be needed for a booth um, to be connected by the truck over four fibers. Uh, first, we'll go with the easy stuff, which would be video. Uh, typically, a sports booth would have two video signals that would uh, be like a program monitor and a, and a ISO monitor so that the talent can see the show. And then there's another video path that they can show them um, whatever the producer thinks they need to see. So in my case, uh, video one is here on SDI and on HDMI. So fiber in and SDI HDMI out. Fiber in, SDI HDMI out. And that's just to allow you to set up multiple monitors inside the booth. Um, once over HDMI for ease, and then once over SDI for flexibility. So uh, let's go on to the audio portion, which is what people care about. Dante is built on networking. I have brought signal to this booth, the networking signal to this booth, over two single mode fibers. And behind this grate, I have a Ubiquiti uh, power over an Ethernet switch. I think it's an eight port switch and it has fiber in. I have networking here, networking here on PoE. I've got a, high, uh, uh, a wireless access point behind the grill as well. And then on the back, I've got two more power over Ethernet ports that are exposed to the back of the rack. Uh, where you can have power and you could go out with another stage rack or a two-channel I input device or a two-channel output device, whatever you want to put on that Dante network. Then I have also put a uh, port for the redundant jack. Um, if we're going to use a redundant path, I didn't really want to mount it in the same box, put it on the same power source, put it on the same power conditioner and all that stuff. So I, if we're going to do a redundant path, it's going to be uh, simple copper out to another box. So um, the the Dante is mostly the, the magic or the, the work that went into this box is in the sins that come back to these ports. These talkback boxes um, traditionally are powered by a power supply. This one's made by RTS and it's for eight talent. This talkback box receives power and has a headphone amplifier in it and some other circuitry. Uh, but the brilliant thing about these talkback boxes is it will be two signals. And you'll see here the interrupt and the non-interrupt. So when the producer keys down on their key panel, only one side of the circuit is interrupted. The other side is not. Traditionally, uh, if you have three talent in a, uh, in a booth, they would all be listening to the same show. So this circuit over here, the non-interrupt circuit, would be the same for all three of them. Uh, so I, built, I tried to build this with uh, what I would think is a right amount of diversity. And so in my system, this output seven is the non-interrupt for these three ports. Output eight is the non-interrupt for these three ports. And then we have discrete IFBs, one, two, three, four, five, six. So you can talk to two shows, three talent each, 
over fiber um, in this one box. And you are powering booth boxes and you're providing two monitors. So there is a, there's a bit of um, DAs and cable changers uh, in, in this tray here. And then on the back side of this, there is fiber to SDI, SDI to HDMI, and there is fiber, or what else is underneath there? Oh, my, <laughs> this is the cute thing. Um, my fiber to SDI and my SDI to HDMI are powered uh, via USB. And so I took an Anker, A-N-K-E-R, um, power supply and uh, one Edison jack, I powered those three devices. And then I was also able to expose three USB device power jacks so I could put a lamp in here or I can let the A2 charge his phone or whatever. But uh, I like to use the ether, uh, PowerCon in and then we have one power switch. So that is my uh, in-depth explainer of a sports booth over four fibers and Dante. Feel free to ask questions. I love it.